It's my privilege to kick things off this afternoon speaking about left main assessment with both IBIS and FFR. Well, uh, angiographic assessment of left main disease historically has been the most challenging thing that we do in the cath lab uh, over and above any other diagnostic procedure. Previously, the presence of left main disease, of course, mandated surgical revascularization, but it was recognized more than 30 years ago that there was great disparity between experienced users uh, and, and uh, clinics where there was a great uh, disparity of opinion uh, when uh, looking at uh, core lab films. Now, despite collaboration, the passage of time, standardization of techniques, and invasive assessment, much controversy, I think, persists regarding left main angiographic assessment. Now, we've been provided with diagnostic criteria and appropriateness criteria, which left main heavily weighs upon decisions that uh, should be made. In fact, we also have, of course, as you know, um, criteria for treatment of epicardial coronary artery disease as it relates to everywhere but the left main. And while these may be not be enforced today, there certainly will be a time in the near future when these criteria in the left main setting will probably be in, uh, enforced as it relates to uh, left main PCI. Now, as angiography has been used for the assessment of obstructive disease, there are now many invasive options for the assessment of an inconclusive lesion. Of all of the imaging technologies and uh, pressure technologies, I think that uh, not only 2 and 3D grayscale IVIS is ready for, uh, for prime time today, as is coronary blood flow through FFR and IFR. And I think there may actually be a niche for tissue characterization in the future when looking at a non-obstructive lesion in the left main. <laughs> Now, IVUS is clearly superior to angiography for pre-procedure lesion assessment of severity, length, calcium content, and the presence of a dissection, and afterwards for PCI uh, results. However, the information is clearly anatomic without uh, assessment of pressure or coronary flow. Unenlightened use, uh, many have said, not only may, but has led to significant over-treatment of the intermediate uh, angiographic lesions in the 50 to 70 percent range. Now, in 2013, the way I look at it is that there are about 1,200 active interventional cath labs in the U.S. About 1,000 or over 80 percent have IVIS from one or more vendors. But based on catheter volume, it's estimated that no more than about 15 percent of all PCIs use IVIS, although in, in certain institutions with training programs, it may reach between 40 and 90 percent. So despite this mountain of data, the acceptance and use of adjunctive imaging for uh, intermediate lesion assessment is still quite limited. There's two uh, examples by IBIS. One, in which there uh, is a clean coronary tree except for an intermediate, an intermediate distal left main. And you can see from the panel on the lower left, within the mid portion of the left main and the panel upper right at the distal left main, hiding within the bifurcation is a very high grade disease requiring definitive revascularization. I think even more frightening, however, is uh, a, a patient who has smaller caliber coronary arteries, has uh, reverse tapering of the left main, was thought to be an, a candidate for bypass surgery. Unfortunately, uh, for the surgeons, this patient only